Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World, the game. Long overdue. I know, we're taking more breaks in between. Remember the good old days back in 2015? Used to be, like, three episodes every day? <laughs> Something ridiculous like that? But, time to change, and there's not as, you know, many things to do in the game or to unlock as, as, there, as there once was, since we pretty much have, as you can see, like everything. However, there's a few things that I've heard through the grapevine that I do want to test out, which could help you. Um, so you might want to pick up on this just before Ludia picks up on it and we end up losing. It, it, that's if you, even if it works. It might not even work. So before we get into it, we'll have a look at the news because sound the alarm. Ooh, we've got hide your food, hide your herbivores, a hungry new apex creature is on the way. <gasps> what could that be? Um, yeah, I don't even know. It's got a green eye? It says, hide your herbivores. A new apex creature is on its way. So we're getting a new dinosaur. And that is like the third new dinosaur that we've had in recent times when it came to Ludia. They've released uh, Tyr uh, Tyrannodon Gen 2. They released, if we go over here, I think I've still got it. Uh, yeah, so we've had Parasaurolophus Gen 2. Uh, Ornithochiris as well was a recent one. The Brachiosaur as well is another recent one. Oh, here we go. Ooh, this could be a lot of DNA. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, yep. And we've failed straight away. <laughs> That's okay. If you're going to fail, you might as well fail on the first one. Because that way, at least you don't lose a progress. Because if you're midway and you fail, you lose one. But for the start, we don't go back anymore. Then, uh, the start, so we're all good. <clears throat> doable. It's doable. We just need to do oh oh oh. Ah, it's one of the tricky ones. I hate. I hate these ones. I hate them. Hate them. But we can do this. Da, 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 da. So this might be the second or first, possibly, uh, video of three videos today. Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. We can get three videos. Uh, depends how long my voice lasts for, however, because sometimes, yeah, back in the day, like, bye, we'll go back to 2015. I used to be able to record for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and my voice would be fine. However, these days, five years of constantly going, hello, everyone, has kind of killed me. <laughs> so when I'm 30 or 40, I'll probably not be able to talk at all. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> we have this. Um, I think, I don't know whether I showed it. This is the new VIP instant recovery lab. Meaning whatever dinosaur you use, you can get back instantly. Very, very, very good. Uh, we've also leveled up our VIP super DNA building. So it is now level two. Meaning instead of five super DNA, I think, and 24 hours, you get seven. That's an increase of almost 50%. Just less than 50%. And I don't know, it doesn't tell you what you get. If it's uh, if it's upgraded to level three, um, and at the moment, until we get the nine month reward, there's still one we're missing out on. Now I'm going to switch it out for Dimetrodon DNA because that is the newest hybrid that a lot of you people have told me is out. However, I can't get it because I don't have that that much DNA. It's almost impossible. Uh, the only way to get the DNA, I think, is through missions. So if you want to get the most, wait, what? I clicked super. There we go. So this is the only way to get that DNA. So what you would need to do is, of course, do as many of these as you can. And that would mean completing... Oh, look, we can do one right away. So we'll collect our food and we'll do that as well. We'll open up a pack as well to give us an extra 60 bucks. As well as 30 VIP points. Can't say no to that. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not spending 90. So that's five. Five DNA. We're on 131. Um, it is, I think, Dimetrodon. I could be wrong, but I think it's Dimetrodon that has a hybrid. Oh, the ultimate unicorn wizard. Can we activate? Oh, wait, no, that's Pritrodon. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> what is it? So we go to super hybrids. Yeah, this is it. Dimetrocanthus. So it's Carnoraptor. Ooh. Now, Carnoraptor already is like one of the best creatures in the game. Now a free, basically, a free upgrade to it, to, Demetri to the Demetrocarnus. On paper seems good, 
But remember, that's only for level 10. So this is technically a free upgrade because you're going to get it not by spending any money, just by doing missions. So if a level 10 Dimetrocarnus is better than a level 40 Carnoraptor, it's pretty much the best dinosaur in the game. Like, super hybrids are really frigging good, but like with Indoraptor, you need an Indominus. You need super raptor DNA. They're okay. They're not, like, Indominus, you're gonna get because you, you want an Indominus Rex. I mean, you have to get a T Rex, you have to get a Raptor, then Indominus, then Indoraptor. And then it's like, oh, do you get an Indoraptor or do you save for an Indoraptor Gen 2? So do you go for Indominus Rex Gen 2 and Velociraptor Gen 2? It's like, you know, there's a, there's a lot there. But with Dimetro Carnus, Carnoraptor is gonna be a dinosaur you're gonna be using most of the game. Even in Endgame, you're using it. Throughout the entire game, you're going to be using Conrad. It's going to be one of your best creatures. So, the fact that it gets a free upgrade, and if the upgrade at level 10 is better than level 40, which it might be, Dimetro Carnus, whatever it is, is probably one of the best uh, creatures in the game. But anyway, hold on. I've got me cup of tea, so you know what that means. Tea break. <laughs> so we'll collect our food. We've also got a load of epic creatures in here, which uh, are going to be put in the asset repository. <laughs> oh no. Well, really, it, what is it? 50, 75, 85 bucks for a full batch of uh, legendary creatures. So 85 bucks and I can sell them for about 5,000 DNA. 5,000 DNA. It's pro you, If that was in the trade hub, 85 bucks for 5,000 DNA, I might be tempted. The other way around, not so much, I don't think. Um, I wouldn't I, for 5,000 DNA, I don't think I'd, I'd trade it for 85 bucks. I wouldn't do that. Um, so, really, we're going to put a Triceratops in, because oh, why not? And then, pretty much, my whole strat right now is just, I've got 26 Dimorphodon, 19 Scabbers, and 18 Tyrannodons. So, I may as well just put these guys in. I mean, there's, there's no harm. I've got 18 Tyrannodons. All that, all it is, is just, it's just sat in my market doing literally nothing. If there was a way to harvest all that DNA super quick, I would. I'd do it. But uh, unfortunately, there isn't. Now, do we have a mission? Uh, use speed up three times, which, I mean, we could do, I guess. I mean, all we need to do, we've got 26 Triceratops. <laughs> Remember when you couldn't speed up Triceratops when Lydia tried to pull a fast one? Then we're like, ah, 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 can't do that. <laughs> Buggers. <laughs> However, there you go. Some 65 experience and some... Oh, 65 VIP points and some experience as well. We also have... Wait. No, we don't. Never mind. We already did that last time. Completely forgot about it. So, um, this is the secret. This is the secret that somebody has told me. Um, this could be a way for me to quickly grind out books. However, I have tried it. And from what I can tell, it hasn't worked. So, what you need to do... Uh, you need to go into market. You need to... Not that market. Oh, no, it is that market. Yes, you go You go into decorations. We go into this. Uh, we need to find John Hammond statues. So we've got we've got three John Hammond statues. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell these guys. Um, and what we need to do is buy a John Hammond, buy another John Hammond, and buy another John Hammond. Get those, and then put them into storage. So, you know, we uh, also I didn't realize there was a button to literally pick up all decorations and buildings in your park. No, I'd, I accidentally clicked it here, all gone. I had to put them all back again. I was like, for God's sake. <laughs> so what you do is you do that. Then, this is the interesting part. We go into Trade Harbor. Now it's nothing to do with custom trades here. What you do is you scroll to, well, you don't even need to scroll to the bottom. See that 50 refresh? You can do it three times a day. So we're going to do it here. Now, fingers crossed, we should get a John Hammond statue. If we do, there may be a chance we can trade that John Hammond statue for 500 bucks. I've tried it in the past. It didn't work for me. So we're going to click that. Here we go. We refresh. So already I'll take that because it's free DNA. Uh, that... I'll also take, because it, who cares about coin. Um, now, I think this is where they may have got it from. So we did, look, we did it there, right? Nothing happened. Nothing whatsoever. We have John Hammond statues. And so I really don't know how this guy has done it. Because um, he has shown me a video where, he, I don't know whether it's a glitch in his game, 
But if you have John Hammond statues, you buy them, you put them in your your stock or whatever you want to call them. Maybe we just do one. Maybe we'll just do one. How about that? In fact, actually, hold on. If we do that, we click on this. We put it into reserve and then we click the trade. No, you have to click off. Okay. And then we refresh again. 50 bucks. I get the opposite of what I want to happen. Trading books for us the cares. We definitely don't. Uh, that's not really worth it. Um, this is debatable whether it's worth it. And we got another one. And luckily, 2 million, 3 million coin for 196 uh, bucks. That's good. So already, we are up 96 bucks. Now, whether or not that has nothing to do with the John Hammond statues, apparently. And I'll trade that. So we're up, we're up a fair 100 bucks. Uh, it's kind of like a risk and reward situation that I don't know if it'll pay off. So we'll we'll do one more. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll place down those John Hammond statues. I'll sell them and we'll redo it. See if it makes any lick of difference. I feel like it's not going to. Uh, that is not what I wanted to do. Whoops. So sell those. Sell that. Go back in. Uh, oh no. Oh no. No John Hammond. I think he's one of the first ones. Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay, so we'll place him. We'll sell him. See, this is what we gotta do. We gotta try and find ways to play the system. Uh, so here we go. We, we'll buy, I don't know, like five million of them. No, we'll, we'll, we'll buy like five or something. I don't know. More than three. There you go. So how much is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what we'll do is we'll put them all as if we've got stock. Because that's that's how it works. Sometimes you get trades if you're holding on to those items. So we're going to go in here. We're going to refresh the trades. John Hammond. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, the other way around would have been perfect. But not that way. I was like, wait a minute. John Hammond, don't tell me this has worked. Yeah, no, it hasn't worked. <laughs> <laughs> that is awful. But we... Oh, we have another one. And again. So, you know what? Trading some VIP points for books. We're up a little bit more. That is the opposite of what I wanted to happen. I already have five. Why is it... The, the other way around would be perfect. Why offer me that way? Damn game. Knows what it wants me to do. And that is obviously awful as well. Uh, and that is terrible as well. So, maybe it's just complete luck. And that is horrendous. I am not, I'm not trading two legendary uh, modifications for half a million coin. Hmm. You can bugger off. So, if that didn't work, which apparently it didn't, what are the chances? Well, sorry, what do you do with your custom trades? If you're a VIP, you've got custom trades. What do you do with them? What's the best way I found anyway? Um, I would say... There, there isn't really a way. If you want to make books, you can go on Cenozoic. You can, or whatever creature, like Entelodon. Click cash. Four Entelodons for a hundred books. Yeah, it's, it's terrible trade. But if you need books and you've got plenty of them and you're not going to use these creatures ever, then why sit on them? Like, 23 Sarcastodons. I'm never going to use that. Might as well sell them. So, I think this is the best way, personally for me, that I'm finding to get books. Um, or guarantee books, I should say. Refreshing the trades can actually yield some good results. And that is all my custom trades. We will collect some coin as well. Um, and the thing is, for a, for a while in the game, it felt like I was getting books at a good rate. So that when a new dinosaur was released, I could showcase it to you guys. But now books are so hard to come by and you lose so much trying to get them. Like I lost 12, 12 super rare creatures for 300 books. I mean, what's that? Like 6,000 DNA for 300 books? I guess not too bad in that regard, but still they're hard things to come by, especially if you're not late game. You need to unlock those to get them to even have a chance. So that didn't turn out as Great as I thought it would. I thought we would get something good with the John Hammond statues, but you know what? We we try out things. If you guys have a way of, uh, or a better way of getting books, do let me know. I am very curious how anybody managed to get books, excuse me, without hacking the game. Uh, but here we go, a VIP exclusive, golden rewards. Now, again, another reason why it's hard to get books. Books just aren't in packs anymore. And 
Oh wait, but Beaver, Beaver, we hear you. There is a pack, a dino book pack, which has guaranteed, what, 120 books maximum in it. Oh, but what do you use? Three battles, that's not much. What do you have to use to fight it? <laughs> Sorry, hold on, I didn't do that. I didn't do that loud enough, hold on. There you go, exactly. A Parasaur Gen 2 at level 370 with 6,000 attack. Um, let's give it a shot, shall we? Let's give it a shot. Now, I, I'm going to argue that because nothing here can kill an Indoraptor level 10, level 10, mind you, uh, in one hit, that it makes no difference whether we go for a level 10 or level 20. Either way, both die, two hits. So I'm going to go for a team of level 10 Indoraptors. Now, if I win this, that's a decent trade-off. However... That is three of top tier creatures having to be used for the battle. And it's it's not guaranteed, so let's give this a shot. There is also no entry fee, which is arguably another good reason. So, we're going to have to go for one block. I say this, uh, chances are he's going to switch out, I would say. Well, that's interesting. Good news is he can only have three attacks and we've got two blocks. So we're going to go for two blocks. He does have three attacks. Now, the reason why I did that is because I know I can survive and I want to get to this turn. This turn's vital because whether I die here or not, chances are I am going to die. If he's got two reserves, he's going to have five. I only have a three block. He's going to kill me. So I'm going to go for three reserves here. Um, if I block for three, I might have survived. Now, it depends what he does here. If he goes for anything more than two, or if he goes for anything more than one, I'm dead. So this, actually, is probably the best scenario we've got. Um, because I just realized the health now. Oh my god. Uh, he went for all of his attacks. And we got seven out of a, a possible eight. That's really freaking good. So one, two, three, four kills him. Now, he could have four. The max he can have is four attacks next turn. We know we can survive one hit. So if we were really risky, what we could do is go for three reserves. But what if he goes for, you know, four attacks and we survive? So it's better in this scenario to go for three block. Tempting to go for three reserves and be like, oh, well, at least I'm, you know, the next interrupter comes in with seven. But even if you come in with seven, it's going to take a lot of hits to kill it. So even if you're onto the last one, and there you have it. So if I went for all reserves, he'd be dead, but we would be on seven. Now I'm just trying, three, six, nine, one, right. Okay, if we had 3000 attack in four hits, we'd kill him. Now factoring, it, factoring in the multiply each time, we're probably gonna kill him in four hits. So this is the interesting thing. Do I go for four reserves now, or do I go for the four attack and kill him but the other Tapichellosaurus is going to kill me with one hit. Meaning that I'm going to be with four possible attacks and he could have three block. It's, it's, it's really, really risky no matter what I do here. The best case scenario, I go for four reserves here and he goes for no attack. That way, either way, whatever I do, it's risky. So I'm going to go for four reserves. I could get the kill but I think there's more chance of losing that way because here's the other, the other one's going to come. So he's got one block. He's got a possibility of one block. Now we are down to our last interrupter. As long as we make sure they can only do one attack. So he could have five attacks on the next one coming in. So one, two, three, four. Right. So that kills him. Now if he doesn't go for any, any reserves... Or oh, sorry, any blocks. If he doesn't go for any blocks, we are into the next round and we've killed him and it's 1v1. And it means that even if he does go for a full out attack, he's dead. Or we could factor in the one extra block. But if we do factor in the one extra block and he doesn't go for it, we've lost. So this is now a complete 50-50. If, he, if we don't factor in the block and we attack him and we don't kill him, 
it's the game's basically as good as over uh, at that point. However, if we do factor in the block and he goes for it, the next type of Jellosaurus can only have four attacks and we got three block. Do you understand what I'm seeing here? It is very... This is for 30 bucks. Sorry, 120 bucks. I got 100 by selling super rare creatures. So if I... I'm going to factor it in. I'm going to factor... It's very rare that they don't go... If they go for like three attack, they usually block, I would say. So here we go. Did he block? He did. Oh my god, that was 50-50. Oh my, that was so... I was like, it doesn't matter what I do. The bot's just going to be like, ah, sod you. Okay, so if he goes for four attack now, we've won. That was one friggin' battle. One friggin' battle out of three. Yes, it's only three battles, but look at what we're dealing with here. That was the most clutch ever <laughs> battle in Jurassic World the game. Oh my god. If I'd went for what, if I hadn't affected in that block, he would have just survived and he would have went for four attack, left me with, and I wouldn't have had enough to kill him and block the next attack. So after all that, we only got 50. This battle needs to be for like a thousand bucks. That's what it needs to be. Look at the pack. It looks like there's thousands there. It doesn't look like 120. Um, so here we go. Here's the next one. This one's a lot harder. Because of the Acanthostega. Um, the Acanthostega, I mean, really, I've got a load of carnivores. I don't want to face up against amphibians. I really don't want to face up against amphibians. <sighs> it's interesting, actually. So we got two battles, right? So let's say six of my top. Six of my top ten creatures, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's take us down to Interruptor level 20. So... Secadonosaurus or Segnosuchus Sek Sek is out. We cannot use that in this battle. Maybe next time. It's up to Metrophodon needs to be used here. Ch if we face against Amphibian's next battle, we could use our VIP buyback system for free. Otherwise, it's going to cost like a thousand bucks. So we'll probably do that. So now do we start with Metrophodon? Bear in mind, Metro Metrophodon can kill all of these with a minimum of three attacks. In some cases, maybe even just two. Two for Acanthostega. Chances are, though... Uh, I think we need to go for Metrophodon. Pachygalosaurus. And Udon. Now, the reason why I'm selecting Udon last is worst case scenario, we just need to finish off Acanthostega. Just. I mean, what's going to happen is, he's going to switch out Acanthostega for Tanicolagrius. That's what's going to happen in my head. So I might be tempted to reserve, but seeing after how the last battle went, when I thought Parasaurolophus was going to switch out and didn't, um, two hits could have killed me. So, two hits are going to kill me here. So, here we go. Here we go. Let's not waste any more time. We may as well just jump in, right? We might as well do it. Let's see how we go. Right. So, I'm going to block. Safest bet. Safest bet is to block. Even if he switches, we don't die. I knew it. I friggin' knew it. Right. So, we could kill him here. Or, we could go for two reserves. Or we could go for two block. Attacking is very risky. We, if, he, if we attack him, one block he's saved. If we go for two block, it's also risky, but not as risky. Because if we go for two block, it means that unless he's reserved all of his goes just then, we've survived. If we reserve, there's more chance of us dying. So out of all of these options, blocking is the best percentage of survival-wise. And it was. So he's only got three attack. He could go for three attack. If he does go for three attack, that's really good for us. He doesn't. So at this point, even if he blocks for one, he's going to have six on his next go. Sorry, five. Uh, if he goes for two reserves, it's going to take him to five, and then we can't block it. 
So, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna switch into Pachygalosaurus and just go for two reserves. There's, like, yeah, I thought that was gonna be the case. He's gonna have five. There's really nothing we can do. One, two. He has to go for four. He has to go to four to kill me. So, this... It's not the worst situation in the world to be in. Because we've got six. And we kill him in two. So we only have to go for three. We only have to go for three. So one, two, three. And then I'm going to go for three reserves here. He did block. So we've killed him. Whoa, these are the hardest battles in the world. <laughs> Honestly. Jesus. So it's not a guaranteed kill. He also doesn't go for it. So one, two, three kills him. Factor in two, two reserves. He only blocked for one. At this point, I'm I'm feeling pretty confident with one. Uh, so one, two, three, four. He has to go to four out of the seven, leaving him with three reserves. Uh, and that's it. Uh, he's got three block. Uh, we kill him in three, six. Oh, we don't. We don't kill him. If he blocks all out here, we don't kill him. I think my best bet is to go for four block, two reserves. I thought so. I thought he might go for all block there. Whew. Right. So he could have four block here. He could have four block here. Um, I have to go for like five block just to make sure we survive. Yeah, I have to. It's... He's grinding me down. Hopefully, six is attacking numbers. Six is definitely attacking numbers. And there it is, five. One block. We kill him in four. Oh, my God. And we're not... We haven't even... Like, one battle. One of these battles should be worth 120 bucks. Are you kidding me? You're putting all of my best creatures out of commission. Lydia, are you watching this? I'm doing it. But it's all my best creatures. And the final battle... Luckily, it's all carnivores, which means that we can go for amphibians and just nullify all of that attack and boost our our, our own attack. So in this scenario, um, still with that Tyrannotitan, have you noticed if they're, if they're weak dinosaurs, but they're super high level, they usually have a crud ton of attack. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, so they can still kill me or still kill Pressosuchus in one hit. So, in this scenario, I'm going to use my best amphibians. I'm, I don't think, going to use them for anything else. So, we're going to do the same situation that we've done before. He's not going to swap out. We're going to go for one block, just guaranteeing us to get to the next round. Because that's all we need to do. Ooh. Really, really good. Meaning we can go for two block now. And we're through to the third round. Really, what we're doing here... Oh, God, I just sit my foot there. Ooh. What we're doing here is just guaranteeing the most amount of reserves possible. Now, I didn't know what he'd gone for there. If he, if I'd seen that he went for two attack, I would have went for or three attack, whatever. Either way, he's got a possibility of two block. He can still kill us in a crazy two turns. So even with the type advantage and the best amphibians I have, this battle isn't guaranteed. Three, six, nine. It's gonna take four. It's gonna take four. Um, ah, okay, so one, two, three, four. Factor in one and then two reserves. It's not the best. I mean, it is be It is the best outcome because I've killed him, but also at the same time, he he's gonna kill me with five because he's got five yeah so he's gonna go for a full-on five attack because i don't think he can guarantee a kill into it no okay oh but gorgasu just does have the most amount of attack here from 3000 to 3500 oh, and we do have two so one two three um now what is ceratosaurus's attack it's only a thousand it's 1354 i think so he can't kill me in two hits so I can go, he can't even, 1,200, he can't even kill me in, unless it's already nerfed. It's not already nerfed, okay. So he can't kill me in three hits. So if that's the case, he has no more goes, one block and two reserves. Because he went for an all out attack. T power is what it is, it's T power. 
Okay, here we go. Come on. And the three attack come through. Oh, it wasn't enough. I didn't think it was. And there we have it. This is the first time the hardest battle pack to win in the entire game, I think. That's the first time I've won it in probably years, I think. That, oh, it's really not worth it. If it was, if this was a thousand bucks, it's worth it. But for 120 bucks, not worth it. That was not worth it. I mean, I get that probably in this game, what happens is that they they kind of... Oh, that's a tournament creature? The Eucalyptus Arrows. Do I not have that? Oh, I don't... Oh, that's good. Okay, well, we need to do it anyway. So, in this game, doing... <sighs> that Those kind of battles for that prize is awful. It's really awful. Because if I had failed one of those battles, which could have happened, you saw, it was almost 50-50. It was complete chance whether I won them. My, my three of my really good creatures are used. They're gone. So if I had lost that final battle, I had used my three best amphibians, there was no way that I had stood a chance of winning that um, without using even better carnivores. Because I needed to basically double their attack in order to stand a chance. You saw that, like 5,000 attack? What did I even have left? Probably nothing. Anyway, we have Monsters of the Deep. This is way more fun. But, this is the interesting thing. Do we do Monsters of the Deep? Now this pack, that we have a 6% chance of winning, does give 300 bucks. However, it is four battles. They're not too hard. Or, do we go with this one, which is five battles um, and only gives, you know, that chance. This is, this is the stupid thing, right? You're a VIP. These are VIP only battles you can do and only rewards you get. Prizes? Rubbish. This one's not too bad. The gold rewards, that's good. This card pack, which does have the chance of getting DNA, which is literally the only thing you want in a pack, unless it's books. And that. You will get VIP points, I guess, which isn't too bad, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know. If you want books, you're probably better, like, spending your VIP points on, like, a wind turbine. Because they're 100 bucks. Like, you, like, like 2,000 bucks, right? I can do this 10, 50, 50, 60 times. I can do this 60 times. And opening one, I've got 100 bucks. So that's average. So I open that 60, that's 6,000 bucks averaging i would assume that i would probably win more than that so let's do another one um there you go another 100 bucks so okay there you go so it's 200 bucks 4,000 vip points which is a lot but then minus 190 because you slowly do get some back but that was 200 bucks this game has gone completely how to win books so, and of course if you do the battle events so here we go. We got, what is this? Monsters of the Deep gives you 12 and VIP exclusive event also gives you 12. Both are, pr so they give you the same reward. It's like, ah, which one do you go for? So this is what? 400, 500, 600 attack. And this one is 2000, 1000, 1000. So already, even though this climate change does give you books, possibly if you win the pack that is, it's way harder creatures. So for no books and more battles, you get an easier fight. <laughs> and it, even then, the books, bear in mind, to do this, there's a 6% chance you win this card pack. And even then, in each card, there's a 33% chance of you getting books. So 6% and then 33% of 6%. And doing that three times, 33% of, what, 25% uh, of a 6%. What are the chances that you win the pack and then win every book? Like, 0.01% chance. Something ridiculous. So we may as well win the Super DNA and do the easier battles on something like this. So with this, what we are going to do is... Hmm. Hamdi hamdi ham. 
Now I'm tempted to go for all surface here. Or at least one, probably two good surfaces. And then a, a bad surface. And the reason why I'm doing this is I'm going to go for one reserve right away. Knowing that he's going to switch. I feel like I've done this battle event before they switch. And there it is. So worst case scenario, we're hit with one hit. Which actually is not the worst case scenario. Because that means that we can go for three attack and kill him. So one, two, almost, almost two hits. Almost just two hits there. So that's killed him. In comes the Kawaiki, 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 that one. And can only go for two hits on us. So really, I guess the, uh, what's it called? The other one, uh, the Hainosaur was a bit overkill. The re and again, the reason why I went for surfaces was I was a bit worried about that last creature, the uh, hybrid, because it had 600 attack. That's it, the lead Zikthi's hybrid, that's the one. Yeah, I was a bit worried about that, but um, yeah, just, they just all want to attack, apparently. <laughs> uh, in, in this way, I didn't use Hainosaurus, but if the battle had gone any other way, I might have needed him. Might have needed him. But that's taught me something. Now, these battles do get harder, and you get, f even though it's one extra battle, it's 50 extra DNA, guaranteed. I suppose it ain't too bad. So, we're gonna go for reefs. Uh, good reef. Oh, <laughs> funny joke, James. <laughs> this is gonna go for all these guys. Um, gonna go for one reserve here. Whether we, we have a chance of dying, but I'm okay. I'm okay. Thing is, all these re Oh, we're dead. Maybe I'm not okay. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, maybe that's not so good. I've just realized the health. Yeah, that hybrid probably needed to be level 20. Maybe we should have fused another one. Okay, so that's one hit. So he's only got one block. That's not too bad. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and then one reserve. It's all going to be down. And he did go for it, so that's that's okay. I did factor that in. Um, it's going to be all up to Lyplorodon. It really is. Oh, saying that, though. Ooh. Oh, he didn't kill me and went all out. I think we can kill him in four. Oh, it had to be five. On a Capristis, I forget how much health that thing has. So this turned around massively. So one, it can kill me. Um, so it depends how much damage we do with Light Pluridon and how much damage we can take. <laughs> if he blocks for three, we've lost. One, we've won. Two, we've won. This is, this is if I attack. Do I go for it? Do I go ham? Or do I go for four block? Attack. Attack, attack, attack. And we lost. Well, there you go. Not bad, eh? Not bad. <laughs> Now that was a shame, that was a shame. But then again, they weren't my best reefs. So not too much of a loss. So I will go for those, however. Also, I turn off the sound effects. Don't know why I did that. So this time, I mean, I was getting, I was pushing my luck. I was pushing my luck there. Fair enough, fair enough. I'll happily take that loss. <gasps> not this time, sucker. Now I'm going to go for three and kill you. Because there's so many battles, I just thought, ah, you know, why not? Why not just push my luck a little bit? <laughs> yeah, there's nothing Uncle Pristis can do. Uh, it does go for one attack, though. I'm going to go for three reserves, because chances are he's blocked, and he did. And even then, I wouldn't be able to kill him. So not bad. Not bad. Really, I maybe I should have used that as a turn to go for reserves in the last battle. But then again, there wasn't enough. I didn't have enough health to do that, and I did factor in there. Oh, no, three did kill him. Uh well then, you've done something new every day. And that's four. That's definitely killed me. I think we might be able to kill him, though. Oh, sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there you go. Done. Done and done. Six kills and bam! So that's another 50 DNA. Very good. Very good. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Uh, next one. Ooh, a little bit of a mixed bag. A little bit of a mixed bag. Again, the uh, cave is the one that has the most attack and almost the most health. So in this scenario, um, I'm tempted, 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 tempted to go for a cavern 
and then a really strong surface and then back to a moderately strong surface so this way um i mean how much attack can he do i'm gonna go for one block here just to make sure oh wait hold on hold on oh no that's okay that's okay i was like wait you can kill me one hit <laughs> no we're good okay i'm gonna go for two reserves i'm gonna go for two reserves oh he blocked for two did he well he's gonna have to switch then oh now you switch watch it'll attack now watch Oh, it didn't. Oh, okay. Oh, get in. That's the best. If you want reserves, that's the best hand you could have got there. Four reserves and one block just to make sure he expends a little bit extra and you don't die. Even better. That means that we can switch to something like a uh, Plotosaurus and just try and kill him. I don't want to use Tylosaurus because as soon as I kill this thing, Tylosaurus weakness comes in. So I'd rather that this Trinacarium killed my Plotosaurus. So one, two. It's going to have to go for four out of its five, which really leaves it open. Um, and then Tylosaur could just easy bash through that. So two hits kills him. Factor in one for the block. And then three reserves. And there's nothing that Geosaur can do. There's nothing that Geosaur can do. Even with that massive attack, it's nerfed. Yeah, there you go. Oh, baby, you're so good. <laughs> and we kill him in one hit. So it didn't even matter. If he blocked for three and we only had four, one hit would have killed him. And there you have it. Another 50 bucks in the bag. And apparently I've opened that. Don't know how. Uh, right. Ooh. I would say probably best just to go with some strong surfaces here. Um, I don't actually have that many strong surfaces though. Uh, maybe a reef. Just in case. Um, and then... I guess so. Ah. Ah. Do we go for more attack? Or do we go for... I think... We have to go for Styxosaurus. Because the hybrid Xenathodon dies in one hit. And we can't risk that. We cannot risk that. Okay. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to go for a reserve right off the bat. Right off the bat. Now, in an ideal world, he's going to switch out. And then my Plotosaurus will die. Ooh. Oh, okay, or oh, in an, uh, an ideal world, I'll kill him, and then my Plotosaurus gets killed by one of those things, and then Archelon can sweep. So let's see what happens here. Oh, hello. I don't think that's enough if he goes for two. He does go for two. It's not enough. Okay, 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 fair enough, fair enough. Um, ooh, ooh. So he went for an all out attack. I can kill him in two hits with Archelon. Oh, sorry, Henodus. So I'll go for that, and then I'll just go for loads of reserves. If Henodus does die, it's not game over. And he still, he can't. It, but it depends how much attack this thing has. Yeah, 1,400, which is a lot. Uh, it does even go for one attack. So it's got one block. It's got a possibility of one block. I'll switch in. Uh, one, two, three kills it. Factor in that one. And there you go. Played. Oh, wow. I'm just so good. <laughs> It is, do see, it is doable. It is doable. It's just, you have to really wake up. And I, it's because I had my tea. I had my tea, guys. That's what did it. And finally, the final one. Well, this isn't the final battle. This is the final kill for this battle. And there we go. Da -da -da -da. Whoop. Right. Okay. It's not too bad, I guess. Although it is because I'm scared of that Megalodon. The Delara Chops, or whatever it is, is also a bit frightening. Um, I think Yumun. I think that's that's almost a guaranteed win at this point. So, I, yeah, I didn't realize my attack. <laughs> Bam! Dead! I knew you! Get out of here! Right, next one. Who will be next? Who's it gonna be, eh? Ooh! One hit! Is that right? Well, I'll go for two reserves then. Oh, two, four, six. He can kill me if he goes for a full-on three. But if he does, which he... Okay, he does kill me. Fair enough. But that's it. That domino effect has happened. We've won. So one, two. Kills it. Three reserves. And then Megalodon comes in. Has the advantage. Kills Orden Catfish. Or the or Orthacanthus. Or was it? Orthacanthus. And it'll kill it. Or it, it even doesn't. It even doesn't kill it. And we just switch out to Yumoon, which 
has more than double. That's important because you, you're, you're sacrificing one attack on you. So you want to do double the attack. And there you go. For the trade-off. Boom! No books is the only problem. No books. But uh, I guess you get a legendary. And you do get 1,300 VIP points. Which almost embarrasses us for one of those 100 book packs that we got. And we get towards the Clash of the Titans. And not only that, but... We get 55 bucks for using one of every type of that thing and that. So I guess if you if you also wanted books, what you could do, because I think there's another one, isn't there? Is it for Cenozoic? Oh, no. That's it. Okay. Well, then. And if you do the daily missions, you're guaranteed 55 bucks in the daily mission pack. So there are a lot of options, but it's just a shame that the books were taken away from the packs and they were hidden in little things. They were hidden in the daily missions pack. They were hidden in, you know, missions and stuff. So, and other things that you can do. It's, just, it's a bit of a shame. But anyway, guys, that was actually quite fun. I'm really surprised I managed to successfully do that Dino Book event. I deliberately don't do it because that is just ridiculous. Ridic the, the enemies you face in this, in, in those battles, not even worth your time. Even the level I'm at. It's, uh, but we did it. And with those creatures. I mean, if you if you hack the game and you have like 20 level 40 interrupted gen 2s, it's not a problem. But if you have 40 interrupted gen 2s, what's the point in playing? You've got everything. <laughs> like at that point, you just stop. Um, but anyway, I've enjoyed this. Uh, leave a like if you have enjoyed it as well. I hope you have. And until next time, <laughs> it's getting long again. I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.